anti-tidal carbon dioxide ETCO2 is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide CO2 in exhaled air at the end of expiration. In simple terms, it measures the carbon dioxide content in the air which we breathe out. Carbon dioxide monitoring is also known as capnography. The graphical representation of CO2 is known as capnogram. In the ICU monitor screenshot shown here, the capnogram is at the bottom. Here the ETCO2 is shown as 28 millimeters of mercury. Respiratory rate, breathing rate drawn from the capnography is 29 per minute. Topmost tracing is the electrocardiogram ECG which shows normal sinus rhythm at 83 per minute. Invasive blood pressure monitoring using a small tube inserted into the blood vessel at the wrist shows a blood pressure of 116 by 68 millimeters of mercury. The remaining tracing is of pulse oximetry which shows an oxygen saturation of 94%. Capnography is useful after endotracheal intubation, putting a tube in the windpipe. To confirm the position of the tube in the trachea windpipe and is used routinely in most modern centers in the emergency department. A tube is put in the windpipe for giving artificial breaths either using a bag and mask or with a breathing machine ventilator. It could also be used to give anesthetic agents to the lungs. ETCO2 monitoring is commonplace in the operating room and most of the state-of-the-art intensive care units. Capnography provides instantaneous information on ventilation, blood flow into the organs and cellular respiration, all of which are important in maintaining ETCO2 values in the normal range. Hence, ETCO2 monitoring is also useful in assessing the effectiveness of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR, is given as an emergency care for a person whose heart has suddenly stopped breathing. Cardiac arrest. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share, and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.